Okay, Justin <laughs> Sylvester, one yes. of his favorites. He's here. He's in real life, and that can mean only one thing. We love when he's IRL. It's time to get the scoop. Justin, Justin. what are we beginning you with? You guys, the scoop is scooping today. What's I got to tell y'all. It is? Yes. Tell us Who is scooping? scooping? Did you hear about Sofia Vergara? No. Tell us. Okay. Well, yes. We kind of did. <laughs> she kind of sort of went IG official with her new man, but I don't think she meant to go IG official what? with her new man. Why? Wait, it was an accident? Mean? Okay, so here's how it started. <laughs> Follow me here now. So she and her other man, Joe Maganella, broke up last oh, yeah, July. I remember. She's been seen out with this doctor named Justin Solomon, yeah. uh -huh. who has a PhD in fine. Look at this hey, man right handsome. here. Oh, he has got two PhDs in fine. <laughs> but she's been real cagey about this man. She hadn't confirmed Wait, them. are they holding hands there? You holding can't... hands. Oh. But cut to... A knee surgery. Oh. She just had a knee surgery. Okay. She was in a good mood, probably because oh. she was on them good meds. Oh. Not only did oh, she no. post a photo of this man, mm -hmm. she also tagged him oh, no. and she said, Oh, oh wow. Love oh. you, Dr. Solomon. Oh. If you ever get major knee surgery, make sure you get a handsome, handsome doctor, doctor who will, will sleep, sleep with, with you that, that night. night. Wait. To tell you, this reminds me of the time my dad got surgery and called Henry to tell him he loved him. Exactly, exactly. My Henry Do you think was that's like, what it was? "Are you okay? Meds? Are you okay?" He's like, "I love you, man." And then the next day, he took uh -huh, it back. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> no, for sure. But how many times have you been on like a third date with somebody? Oh, no. Had a few, too many. Too yes, and I you're like, "I love you." you. Yeah. Oh, so no. do you think? But she left it up. She didn't take it down. Well, you can't put the genie back. Yeah. By the way, right, 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 he right. is a handsome. He's very fine. He is. She's got great taste. She's got great. She's got great taste. Got great taste. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So we're, some really sad Golden Bachelor. Yeah. What happened we're surprised. there? surprised. I have not been this sad since Brad and Jen broke up <laughs> years ago. <laughs> long time. It's been a long time. But Gary and Teresa, the Golden Bachelor, they broke up after three months what? of marriage. Now, apparently, let's hear it. I want to know. They said the struggle was that they couldn't figure out how to live between New Jersey and South Carolina. <laughs> but but I, Daddy got a theory here. <laughs> okay. 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 Daddy got a theory. All right. I think that. What was that? No, just what? get my lips wet. You're just making sure they're wet to okay. make sure I got it. You know what okay. I mean? In case no, I have to turn a page. I wasn't sure. I've never we seen that. Know. Yeah, yeah. In I case I have to turn a page on them. We wanted you to redo it because it was on TV this time. Yeah, we didn't okay. understand. Here's okay. my theory. Okay, go. Everybody was hyped up about the Golden Bachelor. Bachelor franchise hadn't had this kind of yeah. hype yeah. since Trista and Ryan. Is that oh, yeah. true? Yes, and Trista and Ryan got married on TV. Yeah. And I think they're the still producers, married. They're yeah. still married. And allegedly, they got paid a million dollars for that wedding. But obviously, we're in love with one another. I think Gary and Teresa got caught up in the hype because I've never been married in America before. <laughs> but normally, in that America. Mexico don't count. <laughs> but normally, you figure out where you're going to live at before. But you think it's the money? I don't no. think it's the money. I think yeah. you get caught up in the love oh, the, and the hype. Well, and the Bachelor saying, and everybody was everybody talking was into about the it. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couples goals, yeah. this yeah, couples and goals. that. Yeah. Well, here's the bad news for Teresa. So I have a friend who's a bachelorette. Hey, Rachel Lindsay. And apparently in your contract, you can't keep the ring yeah. unless you've been married or together for at least oh. two but maybe years. She, but well, she you know maybe, maybe she, she knows ring. Neil. Maybe she knows I don't know, girl. $75,000 is pretty in my account. <laughs> okay. So okay. maybe Neil might get so, it. So now, now we what? think Kathy Lee should be the next golden bachelorette, but we're yeah. hearing that there's some We're hearing there's rumors. some competition. All right. Yeah. I feel bad for Kathy Lee because I know you guys were rooting for her. Yeah, we're team her. Kathy Lee. Kelly and Ryan. Kelly and Mark were rooting for her. Oh, they were? Yes, they were Talking about is. everybody is. It's the whole thing. But Susan Lucci has now come into the group chat because she said how into much the group chat. A, yeah, Susan Lucci's in the group chat now. She said how much she's a fan. She's single. She's ready to mingle. So you think it'll be you think it'll be Susan Lucci? I think it'll be Kathy Lee Gifford. Oh. I really do. I Wait, think, is it a I thing? Think is so this too. a thing that the whole internet's talking about and such? Yes. And everybody such. has been talking about it. You guys started that rumor well, and I love you guys for that. Well Kathy did say that they did reach out to her and she was explaining to them that she didn't want to do some of those scenes. But what I was like well, she didn't want to be in a hot tub. But what we were saying was if you put romance back, because I think that's the thing that's missing all the way. If you get a letter, get a note, yeah. read it, what it feels yes. like, you know, to have real romance instead of a, you know, instead of the way it's going now. Like, I feel like she could bring it back. I think she really could bring it back. And everyone's been rooting for her for yeah. so many years yeah. being on this show. Yeah. That people would love yes. to see her on there. Okay, well, we'll see. <laughs> all right. Let's now, see. wait. Matt Gallus. The Met Gala is big. Are you going, Justin? No, I didn't get my invitation this year. <laughs> Anna Wintour. Not yet. Not yet. yet. No, yeah. but everybody is super excited. It's the biggest night in fashion. We're hearing that 
Kendall Jenner is going, Olivia Rodrigo, and of course, Rihanna. Mm -hmm. But my eyes will be on Giselle Bunchen, Why? who's going to show up, and I'm dying to know if she's going to show up with that jujitsu trainer. Oh, you know, yeah. yeah. Not my boyfriend, boyfriend. Oh, my God. I wonder. She's, she always looks so good, too. But here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh. A manager hit me up last week and said he offered me $20,000 if I can get his very famous client onto those Met steps. Wait, hit you up for this? Yes, because somehow I'm supposed to know everybody in the book, but I do know people at the Met Gala and I'm trying to work it out for that Ooh. 20K. What? I can't say who it is, but here's the problem. Anna Wintour sees every guest that's coming. She pairs them with every designer, and not only that. Oh, she does that? She looks oh, at every know. sketch before the dresses are made to make sure they go with the theme. Wait, for each guest? For each guest. I didn't know that. So the time Kim Kardashian wow. looked like she was in curtains, Anna Wintour yeah. said, you should be in curtains. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I well, did not thank know you, that. Justin. All right. you, you can catch Justin, Justin. weeknights <laughs> at, at 11, 11 on our sister, sister network, network E. <laughs>